John Wick is Wiccan again. In John Wick chapter four, the bounty on his head keeps growing. And in order to regain his freedom, he must traverse the world in order to finally defeat the high table. If you're a John Wick fan, you expect consistency in the storytelling and the fight sequences, both within the franchise and the movie itself. While John Wick 4 goes further than it ever has in the franchise to develop characters other than John Wick, it focuses on almost anything else rather than John Wick's own character development. He appears in this movie as a video game PC, going from quest to quest in order to move the story forward. The world of the high table is kind of expounded upon, but ultimately it feels like imaginary scenery and nonsensical authority figure in this world of endless assassins. The big attraction of these movies, the fight scenes, are usually the big talking points. But in John Wick 4, these sequences kind of appeared toned down compared to the previous installations. But to make up for that, the violent hand-to-hand -hand combat scenes are enhanced with brutal set pieces that act like their own characters within the choreography. New members of the Wikiverse include Donnie Yen, who looks cool as hell in this movie, Bill Skarsgård, Shamir Anderson, Hiroyuki Sonata, Rina Saoyama, and Scott Adkins in a fat suit. The real standout of this movie, though, is the cinematography. This movie had no business looking as good as it does. There were some framed and crane shots in the third act that made me audibly moan in the movie theater. They were so beautiful and insane. Some random notes I took during the movie. The suits, sparkly and bulletproof. The bullets, unlimited. Dancers of Berlin and the drivers of Paris couldn't be bothered. The hot accountants now have a radio DJ, and I really want her job. I know Lawrence Fishburn has acted in Shakespeare previously, but I would really love to see him do it some more. And lastly, the big question on everyone's mind, how are the dogs? The dogs, as per usual, are very good boys and girls. I give John Wick Chapter 4 4 out of 5 stars. It's a great addition to the franchise that definitely kicks ass, but the video game-like plot structure and the seemingly toned down fight sequences cost John Wick that one star. If you liked this video and want to see more reviews like it, please be sure to like and follow Geek Show.